The inescapable price of liberty is an ability to preserve it from destruction, said General Douglas MacArthur. Oshkosh attendees were able to view a major investment in the preservation of liberty from destruction, the F-117A stealth fighter. The aircraft sits quietly. Its shape, at first glance, seems flat and smooth, but on closer examination reveals itself to be an endless collage of angles. Stealth pilot Scott Stimpert explains. The first thing you'll notice on the airplane is that the uh, intakes uh, on either side of the fuselage are, uh, are heavily covered or screened. The, air, the airplane slopes back to the exhaust, which instead of being a round conventional nozzle is in fact pressed flat across the back half of the airplane and it's very high off the ground, very difficult to see from the ground. You can see that uh, we've got two control surfaces on each side of the airplane that uh, give us both elevator and aileron authority, plus we have the two sloping rudders that are uh, movable up above the stubs that give us a uh, control system. The aircraft employs a digital flight control or a fly-by-wire flight control system, same one the F-16 uses, so it gives us a very conventional feel and very uh, honest feel as far as flying the airplane goes. The whole idea is that if you can either be invisible or delay somebody's ability to see you until it's too late, uh, you gain a tremendous advantage. But I'm sure that stealth technology is going to be a part of every fighter that's produced from now on.